welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all well oh, it's a lovely um crisp sunday morning not crisp it is quite it's cold, not crisp right? yeah there's no, no. no frost there's no frost but it's quite chilly and we are off early it is um 10 o'clock well that's probably not early for some people but like Wait, being out the house early for us. <clears throat> yeah like yeah. like we weren't like oh, we were awake at like seven o'clock this morning but it's one of those things where like we're out of the house early so we're off for breakfast um i'm not sure if we vlogged attempting to go last time yeah, i think we did. did but i don't know if it yeah i think it would have gone up. it would have gone up probably basically we attempted to go to this place a few weeks ago but we didn't make a booking and it was like a 40 minute wait and we were like no um so um we are heading off there today i booked a table two weeks ago um and we are running we are running late so i'm really hoping they still like give us the table also guys sorry if i sound a little bit like hoarse um i've got like a bit of a sore throat at the moment um I don't think it's anything, anything. I think it's just like the classics, like sore throat. I've had like, quite a busy, stressful week. So I think it's just my body telling you me. You missed like, out on a treat yesterday. Yeah, we'll tell them later. We'll tell them later about the bees. The birds okay. and the bees. <laughs> Look, guys, this is it. How cute. Literally adorable. Are you excited? I am. Are you? Look, it's so cute. Look. <laughs> guys, we're in. We're on the bus as well. Look at this. We're actually like on like an old like American style bus. How cool is this? You step outside of the things. Love it. So guys, there is the cutest retriever like down there, and I just Greg won't let me get one. He says they're too big. <laughs> but honestly, he's just so cute. He's like really like white and light, and I just. I love him. No. I'm gonna show you him at some point when I can get like a pit, I can like get a clip of him, but oh Bob Chicken, he's so cute. I really want a dog and Greg is just not giving me that that yes yet. He says we need to wait, which I don't disagree with, but I would like to small, know. We've got a small like we don't, our house isn't big enough for a big dog. No, I know, it's very inconvenient. Well it is really. because people do have big dogs. In, exactly, but, Greg. Yes, but we like our space. True. I just love him. Oh, he's got a water. Guys, it gets better. They've just got him a puppuccino, and he's loving the puppuccino. I, I need to see this dog. I need, I need to show you this dog. I'll probably show you when we either go or when they go, and they're not looking. Ready? I don't know if you can. I don't want to film it. Can you see it, guys? Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see the dog? Oh my god, he's he's an angel. There's my hot chocolate. Oh, it looks so good. And then I got a freshly squeezed orange juice as well, just because to help my little throat, bless it. But yeah, no, Greg got a mocha. Guys, look at my French toast. Mmm. Yours is very nice as well. It does. It's a very mushy you. Greg gets all these really weird yeah, things. You say that it's me, like, that is more me. Like, I live for sweet food. Mm, do you want a bit? But I, I go out and I feel like I have to be a bit more grown up. Sometimes. Do you want a little bit of mine? I will try a bit, yeah. Okay. You can try a bit of mine. Thanks. Thanks. Guess who left their camera home? Me! So, we actually came back home. Why am I out of focus? Come on. Came back home and basically, we needed a wee, came in for a wee, headed back out, and I forgot my camera. Yes, but we've just been oh, to God. buy Greggy a suit. I don't I know. I bought my first suit. I'm 27 years old. I was going to say that in the shop, but I didn't want to embarrass you. Um, I now own a suit. You do. So basically, the reason that Greg needs a suit is because. In a couple of weeks time, we are off to a work conference together and the event, like on one of the nights, is black tie. So this one, we thought it was about time, didn't we? I mean, I go to things all the time. You do need a suit in I'm your life. Impressed. Yeah, you need a suit. Um, I, like, I do feel a bit bad when I get there, but at the end of the day, like, I'm doing me. I'm a very casual, but this is like, this is like ultimate clothes. Yeah. Like t-shirt. Some kind of cargo job, I think. I told him he can get some Pokemon cufflinks. Did he put the tie in the little bag as well? I, I guess. Look, my flowers that Greg got me. I don't know if I told, have I told 
them. I haven't told no. them about your lovely little evening you did for me. Also, look at my roses. How pretty do they look? Look at them, Greg. I know, they do look lovely. Very pretty. Excuse my washing that I need to fold. And these and that. You can show yeah. you a picture on your picture. Yeah, I'll put a photo in now of what Greg did for me. And I basically came home Friday basically, night. I annoyed Ellie a little bit at work. Not, not deliberately. And then I thought, well, I do sometimes maybe not appreciate you enough. You do, Sometimes honestly. I, just have to show you. I feel like I, like our relationship. I just feel loved every single day. Truly, very nice. honestly. As do I. And tell them about yesterday. Oh yes. Yeah, so let me go sit and Grace make me a cup of tea. You can insert another picture. Well. Oh yeah, I'll insert a picture well, now. Insert a couple from yesterday. Yeah, I'll insert a couple of pictures now. We were going to for tell. what we got up to yesterday. Yeah, basically, um, obviously, if you don't know, I work um, for my family self storage company, and um, one of my customers who we actually are moving um, have got bees. So they do. They have bees in their garden. They make honey. They've given us some honey. Um, which we will definitely have a bit today. And um, basically. Uh, we ended up going to see the bees yesterday. I have a full blown phobia of bees. Like, not just bees, but like, I am extremely scared. Oh, I think, I, I think my lens is dirty. Is that better? Yeah. Basically, I am scared of bees, ladybirds, butterflies, anything that flies. I'm scared of. So basically, I'm quite scared of bees, like extremely scared of bees. Yeah, extra scared of bees and wasps because they can inflict pain on me. So we ended up going to see them, and it was actually the most interesting thing I've done in a long time. Like he spoke to us about like all the different things they do and different types of bees in there, and honestly, it was the most amazing experience. Um, but yeah, we didn't film it because a my camera was dead when we got there, and b I get a little bit nervous vlogging in front of people that don't know I do YouTube. Of the old generation, they'd probably think it was a bit weird that I was vlogging what I was doing. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, you just got some pictures, but um, we've just got home. I've just ordered some dresses for this conference we're going to, and I've got two one, one week after the other, so I've had to get two dresses. So, I've ordered three, and we'll just, we'll just see, hopefully. Hopefully they're nice. I mean, one of them I've got quite high high expectations for. It just depends on the... On the um, um material but anyway we're gonna have a bit of a chill now just um here at home um and i'll let you know what we get up to with greg just sat on the table hello everyone so it's been um about a week since i last picked up the camera i've got a little home update for you um so I need to not show you the back behind me. So we had our dining room table, no, our dining room table and um, come last time I kind of showed, I spoke to you I think. Um, and we now have some chairs. So these chairs, dining, can I just say dining table chairs are not cheap at all. So um, we've finally got some chairs and I do absolutely love them. So are you ready? Ready? These are them. Basically, these are the perfect mix between kitchen chairs and dining chairs for me. They're still like a fabric, like upholstered, um, what's it called? Like chair, but they're also kind of like suitable for kitchen chairs as well. So there's this gorgeous, like, um, that's the that's like the material. So it's like like a flex, so hopefully it's gonna hide the dirt, which we're hoping. So we've got two chairs this side and then the bench this side. So that if we wanna like push the, the table like up and have more space, we can. But yeah, that's now the finished kitchen almost. So the only thing we've got to do now is uh, move this light. So how annoying is this? So it's actually an ongoing thing in like an annoying thing in Taylor Wimpy um, Gosfords. But basically the light doesn't like hang over the table. And like it would never do because you would never have your table like that far out. So it's just annoying because if you want like a hangy light, then it does, you can't. So basically we're going to have to move that like a foot that way. And then we're going to have like those three lights across there hanging down. Um, and then we also are deciding what to do on this big wall here. So I put an Instagram thing on my story saying, guys, can I have your advice please? And you guys have all said a mirror 
pictures or clock so i do like the clock idea but again it doesn't it won't take up enough of that wall like i really want to get something quite big and long to like make it look as big as possible a few of you said also had a tv which i do love your idea but we're actually going to put a tv on this wall here so we're going to have it on a bracket so it can either face that way or that way um meaning that obviously or it can just be there and only be a little tv so more for kind of like having like just something on while you're cooking dinner or something so yeah so instead of having it right there it's going to be there so like everyone can watch if you like um so yeah i'm thinking potentially either like three pictures so like one there one there one there of like maybe like a um, landscape or something or a large mirror so i just can't really decide and i feel like i don't want to rush my decision i found a few quite nice art pieces that are like threes like trip like triple pictures um but yeah my flowers are looking even more gorgeous than they were before all the lilies have um like kind of come out but who got lily all over them me because i'm a child and obviously i can't look at where i'm going our fridge i don't think has ever looked so bare <laughs> Hello Crush is due in literally the next hour and I need to go to Tesco so I think I'm going to go to Tesco now I'm also going to get some stuff to bake cookies for when Greg gets home because we're actually meant to be doing it being a bit healthy but who like if we have baked cookies now we're going to have them over the next few days I'm guessing so yeah I just feel like I'll make some cookies for him it'd be quite a nice autumnal thing I need to get kitchen roll because we're completely out and yeah so um that's what i'm gonna do now and i'll catch you guys in a bit so everyone i'm back from doing the food shop i've got two big bags of shopping i've never told you before we started shopping at asda i'm still deciding what i think about it because i just seem to spend a lot of money there um i also picked up a book I've seen everyone reading this and basically I'm going to make it my new thing that I don't go on TikTok before bed. I read a book. So I've heard it's really good. It says it's called It Ends With Us by, by Colleen Hoover. So I've heard it's really good and I've seen a lot of people cry at it. So I'm going to give it a go. It's only £4.50, it's not bad. Um, I've got bagels and I'm actually really good because they have no bagels, but these expensive sourdough ones. Like, Greg's lucky that you only need four by bagels, but yeah, I'm just a bit, I hope they're really nice. They were like two pounds for four. Daylight robbery. I did buy the cookies that I wanted to buy though, which I want to like, I was gonna cook them before Greg came home, but I don't think that's gonna be a thing now. I just got the Betty Crocker cookie mix. Like it literally is to just add water, so. I'm at minutes now actually. I think when's he gonna be home? I mean, I've probably got five minutes. Mm. I'll put the oven on. I'll see how far I get before we get to home. What is it? 170. 170. Okay, we'll see how far we get. I'm gonna put this all away and then I'll bake the cookies with you. Okay everyone. Greg's gonna come home in just a second, so. I literally want to try and get in the oven quickly before he gets here. So it says that she stir cookie mixed together with water until the sticks. This is, is that it? That's literally it. All right. Okay. This is a complete cheat. So when I title this "Cook with Me" or "Bake Cookies with Me," you're going to be like, "Ellie, you are kidding. Can you really call that cooking with you?" Oh yeah, I can, guys, because. I just poured that in there. <laughs> Whoop. And then it says add. Oh, two tablespoons. Is that it? Right. So. Is that a tablespoon? Is it two tablespoons? Yeah. One. Two. You all saw it? Two. Right, and now I'm going to get this out. And I think I'm also going to get this out. Which I haven't used yet. Oh, Greg has though. Okay, and then just going to rip a bit of that off. And then, yeah, that's going to be our bit we're going to put them on. And then it says just mix them together with a spoon with your hands. 
Chatting away, so I was like, Oh, I'm just like a scare you. I'm sorry, it's okay. Don't get your cookies now. Yes, I do. So, I'm gonna split that in two. How many cookies should we make? How many does it say? No idea. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. One. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed this up now, I think. It's been a minute since I found someone who makes me wanna know a thing about love, but oh my God, I'm seeing stars. And in we go. It says 4 10 to 12 minutes. We'll put a timer on for 10 minutes. Maybe nine actually. Does anyone else eat raw mix? Because I absolutely love it. Absolutely no mess. Fantastic. I will update you all when they're done. Guys, my time has just gone off. Oh, they're not quite done yet, but they're looking very good actually. I was hoping they were gonna um go out a little bit more than that, but um I'll let them cook a bit more because I like them to be a bit more brown than that. Guys, they're done. How good do they look? I mean, I can't really take credit, they're literally a packet mix, but. You can take all the credit, Elves. Thanks, honey. I even use grease proof paint for a pretty proud of myself, mm -hmm. that, to be honest. You can take them to work if you want. You really think that they're going to last to work? <laughs> do you know what I had for my lunch today? What did you really have? not very healthy, and I was meant to be uh, healthy today. What did you have? Cheese toasty. In the grill. That's not, even, ham that's not even like that unhealthy. Like does. if you said to me, like if I had a lunch that wasn't healthy, I'd have like some nachos and make myself a milkshake or something. Oh gosh. Yeah, when I was off with my shoulder. Yeah, you had a milkshake. I know. You yeah, told me. Too. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here today. Here today. I'm gonna. What's happened end... in the video? I do. I have to watch it, Greg. <sighs> Anyway guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, this coming weekend we're going to that conference, so I potentially might vlog a bit of that, take you to work with me. Would you like guys like to see that? Let do me know. Do a little bit of it, so you um, can see us in the hotel. Yeah, I think it'd be I quite nice. Up. Yeah, it'd be quite nice, and I might vlog that. In. Yeah, we'll definitely vlog it. We'll see you at our work conference. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you've got this far, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.